Continuing our trip down Australia's legendary Pacific coast, we've arrived in the town of Port Macquarie. Port Macquarie is a popular New South Wales destination for a good reason. It boasts fantastic weather and an amazing 17 beautiful swimming and surfing beaches. Not to mention some of the most stunning coastal scenery you can imagine. The deep blue of the Pacific Ocean, the turquoise surf, sandy beaches and rocky coastline rise dramatically into the rugged green hills. We're staying at our third Big Four holiday park. We've already experienced what great places they are with a well-earned reputation for excellence. This Big Four in Bonnie Hills is just south of Port Macquarie, but still conveniently close. As we've come to expect, there are multiple swimming pools. And if you remember, when I got the water bucket treatment at our first Big Four park, they've got one of those here too. As we've mentioned before, no Australian caravan park would be complete without a camp kitchen. They've got two of them here, including this huge indoor-outdoor cooking and eating space. Of course, with the more limited tank capacities on RVs here, large clean bathrooms are a must. The facilities here are immaculate and look like they were just built. There are rental go-karts for the kids and plenty of other entertainment available for kids of all ages. Besides caravan and camper van sites, there are cottages and bungalows available for rent. But like most of the Port Macquarie area, the biggest draw is the beach. A short stroll beyond the park's gate takes you down a short path out onto the expansive beach. There's tons of space here, so there's room for everyone to spread out and enjoy the sand and surf. Nearby Tacking Point Lighthouse is perched on a bluff with spectacular views to the north. To the east. And to the south along another expansive beach. There are so many beaches here that you never know what you might find on them. Even though we've seen koalas in the wild on Magnetic Island, we couldn't resist the opportunity to see how Port Macquarie's Koala Hospital cares for those that are sick or injured. The staff here provides expert care, including nutritional supplements, and prepares them for eventual release into the wild whenever possible. Some of the koalas here have been hit by cars or been caught in wildfires, but they seem to be thriving under the expert care of dedicated hospital staff, many of whom are volunteers. When the time comes, those that are healthy enough are released to live out their lives in their natural habitat. You can tell the difference between a male and a female. Females have lovely, clean white chests. Males have these dirty brown While we were here, we supported the Koala Hospital's worthwhile efforts with a donation, and you can too. We'll put links in the video description for more information about the hospital and how to make a donation. On our way back to the park, we spotted another common local resident, a goanna, which is a type of monitor lizard. Without anything for scale, it's hard to tell how big this guy is. He was surprisingly large, at about five feet long. Some species can grow to over eight feet, but since we were so close to it, we were fine with this one. We're getting close to Sydney and the end of our camper van trip, so stay tuned for our next update. After a while, we just stayed in one spot and let the ruse wander around us. I know they're probably just expecting me to feed them, but their willingness to come so close is unnerving. If they keep moving toward me, I'm out of here. <laughs> 